Hello guys, I'm back. My name is Jefferson Costa and I teach students, graduates and engineers how to work with chemical process engineering and plant design. And today I am here with you to share my answer to the following question. Have you previously done or are aware of simulating flow through pipe annulus on ice pin? Even if you take the hydraulic diameter, the velocity wouldn't be accurate. Let me know if you are aware. So this is a very common question if we are talking about double pipe heat exchanger. That is a, the, a heat exchanger where you have a single pipe inside another, another pipe. So in this way, between the inner pipe and the outer pipe, we have the annulus uh, segment. The, that is the difference between both uh, area or both diameters. So, to answer this question, let's first go to the Aspen High Seas. At the first site, when we go to the Aspen High Seas, we don't have the option to add a pipe inside a pipe in the process simulation software. When you add a pipe segment to the Aspen High Seas and you go to rating, you are able to add fittings and pipe to the process simulation. So, you have the options to add pipes, block crock, these isolation valves like angle valve, bow valve, bends, and etc. But there is no option to add an analog pipe to your process simulation. And when we are talking about verifying the velocity in the analog side of the heat exchanger, it's not a matter of discount one diameter from another and doing the calculations in terms of Flow is equal area versus velocity or multiplied by velocity. This is not the way that it happens the calculation. To do the calculation for the velocity of a fluid in the analog side of a heat exchanger, we need to know that velocity is equal of volumetric flow divided by the area, inside area of the biggest pipe minus the outside area of the minor pipe. So the outside pipe, I will consider the inner part and for the, the inside pipe, I will consider the outside part. So based on that, it's possible to do the calculation for verifying the velocity of the fluid. So in this paper here, I have the optimal design of double pipe heat exchanger and the authors discuss about doing the maximization of the design of a double pipe heat exchanger based on some metrics on MATLAB and also in Excel. So we are not worried about that. What's important here in this paper is that I have an example. It's always very nice when we have papers with examples that show how things are calculated. So here I have a double pipe heat exchanger with an uh, inner tube where the inlet flow is 2 kilograms per second of water and the inlet temperature is 80 Celsius degree, the outlet temperature is 50 Celsius degree and at the outside is, as the analog cooling media I have a water that is at the inlet conditions of 20 Celsius degree. So based on that, the authors propose uh, optimization in math, math lab and also in the Excel. So what it's important for me here is that I have, based on the optimization, I have the inner tube diameter and I, I, and, I, and I have also the outer tube diameter. And based on the previous equation that I shared with you, it's possible to do the calculation of the velocity in the analog side of the heat exchanger. So to do that, let's return to the Aspen High Seas. So I, though I don't have a specific object to do a double pipe heat exchanger, I can simulate that on Aspen High Seas. And I know that I have two pipe segments, so one is representing the inner pipe of the heat exchanger and the other one is the outer pipe of the heat exchanger. One object that is very useful on Aspen High Seas is the, is the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet 
is is like a Excel spreadsheet on inside the Aspen High Seas where you can add equations and with that do calculations based on the inputs that you add to your process simulation and also the outputs that are calculated by the Aspen High Seas. So based on that, I am able on the spreadsheet to import some values from my process simulation and in the spreadsheet tab organize the information in order that I add the correct equations for my purpose. In this way, what I need to do the calculations of velocity in the analog side of the double pipe heat exchanger. I need the volumetric flow of the fluid at the outside of the inner pipe. I need to have the outside diameter of the pipe, the inner side diameter of the inlet pipe and I need to and here I also imported the value of flow of velocity of the fluid inside the inner pipe so just to verify the results with the paper based on that as they are in millimeters I converted them to meters because I get the value and divided by 1000 and based on that, I have the same characteristics of units because when I divide cubic meters per second by the calculation of area, the biggest area minus the smallest area, I will have the result as the meters per second. So in this way, I am able to do the calculation of the velocity of the fluid at the analog side of my double pipe heat exchanger. And here I just to let clear, to let easier to do the comparison and verification, I added the information of the velocity at the inner, the inner pipe and the velocity at the analog pipe. With that, although at the first sight seems to be impossible to do the calculations related to the velocity of the fluid in the analog side of a double, a double pipe heat exchanger. In fact, we have seen that, yes, it's possible. To do that, you need to be familiar with the equations related to this kind of equipment, and you must be familiar with the Aspen High Seas. You need to know how to add and set piping segments on Aspen High Seas, how to add and set the cooler and heater to be able to verify the heating material balance of the system and do the conversion of the system and of course that you need to know how to add and set the spreadsheet object on Aspen High Seas. If this video was useful for you, give your like to me, it is totally free, you just need to click in the bottom that is in the internet and also share this video with a friend or in a group of chemical process engineers because this way you help me to achieve 100,000 chemical process engineers around the world. So this is it guys, I hope you like it and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.